everyone, it is me here, Jam Sankith, and I'm playing a old F1 game here. It'll be Formula 1 2002 on race weekend. I will do. I'm just looking at all the cars of which one to actually pick, to be perfectly honest. I'm not really sure, but uh, I used to love Formula... Well, no, I still love Formula 1. It, it's been a big sport in my life. I think we'll drive the Ferraris of Michael Schumacher. We're good. The United States Grand Prix, shall we? Um, no, I think I, I tell you what, we'll, we'll go to um, Monaco. It'll be a 10% race, we'll just skip to race, of course. 10%, so about 6 7 laps, but here we are at Monaco. It's drawing a, a map of the circuit as it loads up and all that. We've got, we even got a commentary team on this. You know, like uh, Martin Brundle and James Allen. Although Moy Walker was on the other ones, but. Here we are, going to be at Monaco, the historic Monaco, the best track in the on the Formula 1 calendar, should we do the track preview? Welcome to the Principality and Round 7 of the 2002 FIA Formula 1 World Championship, the Monaco Grand Prix here in Monte Carlo. Narrow roads, high walls and very few overtaking areas make this a difficult race for all the drivers. A good start is crucial. You want to be the first driver into Sandibot Corner. The Monaco Grand Prix is the race that every driver wants to win. We can be sure that everyone will go out to secure the all important pole position to improve their chances for the win. Yeah, the I'm Monaco just, Grand Prix I'll just drives skip to the race, I think. Concentration by the drivers over the entire 78 laps. One small mistake, and the car will end up in the barriers, as runoff areas are virtually non existent here. A single lap during the race itself yeah. covers 2.094 miles or 3.370 kilometers, and the lap record is held by David Coulthard. Because of the low average speed, maximum downforce and mechanical grip are paramount to achieve good results. Due to the undulating surface, cars also have a tendency to bottom out, so the ride height is usually adjusted higher to right. compensate for okay. this. Is that the end of the track preview? Is it? It might be. It looks like it. Yes, it is. So as we found out about the track now, we'll just go straight to Grand Prix, yep, yeah, start from back a grid, that's fine by me. And here we are, the Formula 1 World Championship. So that's not bad, is it? Look at it. Looks good, doesn't it? Oh. Okay, something's gone wrong at the minute, I think. Hello, oh, there we are. Welcome to the 2002 Monaco Grand Prix. Before we look at it's the brilliant. starting group of today's race, let's take a brief look back at last year's event. At last year's race. After David Coulthard was relegated to the back of the grid because of an electronics malfunction, Michael Schumacher stormed to a straightforward victory. Followed by straightforward a victory, yeah. Barrichello, making it a memorable one -two So there we are. Ferrari. There's button there in 12. The place went to Jaguar Cosworth's Eddie Irvine. I thought I'd have changed the, uh, like, right, we're starting the last 1 minute 18 behind, but, but here we go, we'll just, we'll just skip to it race now, right, need to remember controls, like, there's, there is launch control in this game, have we got that on? Yes, we have, we're in a Ferrari, as we turn launch control off and we're away at Monaco, for the first lap of eight here at the Monaco Grand Prix. So, whoa, whoa, it's been a while since I've played this game, but... I literally just picked it up to play it right now, to be honest, but... Picked up the controller to it, it's been a long while since i played it, but... Hopefully it's, it's gonna be, a, it will be a good game for you guys, but... Can we get around the outside of anyone? Or oh, the inside, we make contact with the Williams, but... Can't remember it being like this, to be honest. Turn the bias up, break bias up. I think it might be on an easy, difficult look. Well. That's us out. That's us out. That's us out instantly. But... At least now it gives us a chance to up the difficulty a little bit. Only us and Panny's got knocked out of the race, to be honest, but... 
did not expect that to happen so soon. Didn't realise it was so sen sensitive with the damage, but here we are, race weekend. Should we? Oh no, I need to change the difficulty, don't I? Yeah. Can I change that here? Game difficulty. Rookie semi pro pro. So I'm gonna have damage on, failures on, ABS. We'll keep that on. Save changes just to so there's no problems. And we'll go at Indianapolis this time. We'll go Indianapolis, race weekend, Ferrari. Where is it? Indianapolis. Where are you? There you are. The US Grand Prix. Alright. So we made a big mistake in the first lap, didn't we? In the first lap of that Grand Prix at Monaco. But here we are, the famous brickyard. Hopefully we can have a lot easier race here than we did last time. So that was just Christ, that's a you can tell it's been a while since I played it, but here we are, the US Grand Prix. We won't bother with track preview and we go straight to race. The Schumacher won this Grand Prix from two thousand one. No, two thousand two. So Hackenham won it in 2001, we'll skip that bit there, and I think James Allen's going to be saying something. The US Grand Prix, yeah, Barry Keller won ball again, here we go, we'll get on with the race here, I think Hackenham won in 2001 of course, I best get launch control on. Flat on the throttle here. Wait for the race to lights to go out. And we're away in the US Grand Prix. We make a decent start in the back of a Toyota. That obviously didn't get going properly, but here we are. Coming down to turn one for the first lap again. Hopefully we stay in the race this time, but Right, we got we must have made con making contact with the Jaguar behind us. We're up into 15th of 22 cars, so the difficulty has gone up, of course. But we're in the best car, the best car this season. Because Schumacher literally dominated this championship, but of course the car's not going to be as dominant as it was back then when Shuey were driving it, but. Fissy Keller's out in the Honda, well the, not the Honda, the Jordan Honda, sorry. We're up into 11th. Hopefully we don't have a mechanical problem here. We kept chasing down Jensen Button who is in a Renault here as we come onto the back straight. Onto, not back straight, onto the banking now. Nine degrees of banking as they're going three wide in front. It's our chance to get through as we hit a Honda Villeneuve, the BAR. Passing Felipe Massa and now Jensen Button up into 8th place. That's the Jaguar out as well, if I'm right with him saying Eddie Irvine. Yep, yeah, Irvine is out now as we're on the back of Yano Trulli. And Frenson's out already. So that's three cars over one lap. We've got the Renaults behind us, you know, sandwiched between the Renaults here, this button side, well, tries to side swipe us there, but hopefully we can get uh, closer to Trulli and break away from guys behind us, but it's been a while since I've played this, as, you've, as I've said plenty of times before already, but it's lap 8, well no, it's 8 laps and it's second lap of the race so far, but I don't know if the quality of the video is going to be any good, but I apologise if it isn't. I just thought I'd want. I, I find I just thought I'd play a old F1 game, and here we are. We're at one twelve five. It's not the fastest lap of the race, but but we're on the outside of uh, Heitfeld. Is he bumps into us? He races in Formula E now. As we come around this f first couple of corners again here, Indianapolis on lap seven, no lap three. Sorry, I was looking at my position. 
we get it sideways there? Can we get it right through here? Don't get it by a Renault this time. Apparently we've got a problem with something. Not really sure what it looks like, but if we hit a salvo, is it is it a brake problem? Is it a brake problem? I'm not really sure. I'm trying to figure it out, but we've got three both cars in the point. Hopefully that problem becomes well comes nothing of that problem, but here we go, we've got the quickest car. Down this back straight, through the nine degree of banking. Are we gonna set new fastest lap? Yes we are I think. Yeah we do as we pass Kimi Raikkonen down into turn one. Lay it on the brakes there. Passing Kimi Raikkonen into fifth place. Now we're on to David Coulthard in, in the McLaren, who is his Kimi's teammate of course. And will be his teammate until at least 2005. As we pass David well, we almost got David Coulthard there, but he knows how to defend Coulthard does as we pass him now down this straight. Even up the difficulty you even saw me do it and it's still pretty easy here. Right, we're we're going on over the grass here. That wasn't what I wanted to do, but there's Coulthard passing us again. Hopefully I don't take the fastest lap now after going wide like that, but here we go, we're going to pass David Coulthard, easy, oh, we make contact with him. It's like we're pushing him down the straight now, but through the banking 9 degree on the outside of Coulthard. Coming across to start lap 5, as we hit the wall, that's not good. Well, I guess we did. So running wide across the track is a lot quicker than taking the tarmac then. Which is weirdly enough, but which is weird, but we're on the grass again. Here we are coming round to one of the hairpins, chasing down Juan Pablo Montoya, who knows this track quite well. Oh, shame for Button and Renault that. So we've got 17 cars left. I'm beginning to think we've got like a brake problem or something in this Ferrari now considering that we've just been off twice on that part of the corner on that part of the course of course and now we're having to chase down David Coulthard again starting to think we might have a problem it's not the best thing to have a problem even at a track like this especially with how quick it is but here we are, coming across the stripe. Chasing Montoya down. Uh, two laps remain, is it? No, three laps to go, I think. It's three laps to go as so we start lap six. Hopefully we can pull this one off. And That's not what I wanted to do, but... Coulthard goes past into fifth, fourth place and Raikkonen should be storming past around the outside well the inside now but enjoy it while it lasts Kimmy we're coming back at you mate take the outside here we're back into fifth place yeah we've got a brake problem I think down here I think we've got some sort of a brake problem in this Ferrari now I don't understand why, but Coulthard's now 3.4.3 ahead. I will take for I will want to take fourth place here. We got the quickest car, of course, but let's change car with you. Should we race in this one for a while? Yeah, let's race in this one. One sixteen one. That's not good, but we'll race cockpit camera here in. F1 2002. I used to love this game when I was growing up and playing it, but and you could get hit by failures and that, which was decent. Which we've got two laps to go now. I think Barrichello still leads. Sato in the Honda is well, Jordan Honda, sorry. So that's both Hondas out of this Grand Prix. 
Hopefully we can get both Ferraris to the finish. Right, we managed to slow it down enough now. But we hit Colt hard. Wasn't intentionally. But we can take fourth place here. Can we take fourth? We're certainly gonna well we've got the speed, I can't understand why the AI cars are a bit slow, but there we go. Right now it's inside of Coulthard. Barrichello started his final lap of the race in the lead. We're in fourth. Can we catch uh, Juan Pablo without taking a shortcut, of course? Even with that problem that we've got with the car, we, we're struggling still, but... But we've shown, we, we've shown we've got the pace though, we... 4.4 seconds now between us and Juan Pablo. We're not going to win the race, that would be Barry Kello, I think. As long as no goes wrong with his Ferrari. And I don't think we're going to get a podium though, to be honest, but... There's Montoya, no, no, we haven't got a podium. 4.4 seconds between us, us, dry, us two now. Oh, nearly spun it there, but here we come in around the final corner. Barrichello wins. And we finish in fourth place. Well, I'm happy with that. And wow, we got a lot of cars out, didn't we? But we finished fourth place. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you later.